Okay. Hey, Gretchen. Wait, so do you have your econ book? Oh, shoot. No, we can ask Katie. I'm Gretchen Wieners. My dad is the CEO of Toaster Strudel, but I'm guessing you already knew that. I'm Regina George, and this is my car. It is a durable good because it lasts me longer than three years. This is my car. It was directly imported from England. I think my dad like bartered or something and traded some of his stuff for it. Wait, Regina. Yeah. Did you see in the Wall Street Journal that Katie's dad sells a lot of stocks? No, I didn't see that. Do they also sell bonds? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is my soft coated wheat interior, Louis. He was actually directly imported from Ireland. Is her dad part of the Toaster Strudel Company? I mean, I don't know. I heard he's involved in a big hedge fund company and they sell a lot of bonds or something, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I know. Katie! Katie come here. Hey! So you're the girl from South Africa, right? Yeah, my parents moved here. Um, they got a new job. They had to make a trade off when we moved to our new home. Okay. Hi, I'm Regina. I love your shirt. Where did you get it? I'm not sure. My mom just got it for me. She said there was a really low cost of resources and low demand, so it was really cheap. Oh, well, I heard there's a surplus of clothes at Urban, so you should go there sometime. I'm Gretchen Wieners. My dad is CEO of Tosher Strudel. He gave me this graph last night. Um, I don't really know what it means, but it's causing them to have a shortage in demand. So it sounds like they need new technology to make their productivity better. Yeah, on Wednesdays, we each pick a topic in econ and talk about how much we hate it. I hate the fiscal policy. I don't understand how the government can tax us and spend money like that. I don't like Regina because her dad is a monopolist and he took my dad out of his business. I don't like Regina because she put laxatives in my shake and then I had an accident in school. I don't like Regina because the opportunity cost of being her friend is too great. One time Regina told me she would steal my bulldog if I didn't do her homework for her. She's so mean. I don't like Regina because she doesn't provide enough consumer benefit. Alright, I don't like Regina because she told me I deserve to get paid under minimum wage. The absolute advantage of being Regina's friend is popularity. Regina has a lot of human wants, but her friendship is scarce. I don't like Regina because she told me this car is a non-durable good and it is. and I just moved here from South Africa. My mom used to homeschool me, so I don't know a lot of people, but I'm really excited to make new friends at North Shore. So Gretchen, I was wondering, does your dad's company like contribute to the GDP? I mean, I think so, because it's a part of the US. Okay. We're just trying to study for our econ test. We have it next period and we know nothing. Do you know anything? No. Oh my god. Katie, do you know what it's over? Yeah, it's over stagflation. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, so basically it's when the economy goes up and it's stagnant, but it still has inflation. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, this is so hard. I don't understand. Katie, do you know what this means? I think it's about trade. Yeah, I get it. So basically, when the graph is more steep, that means it's more expensive. So there's less of an advantage. That's why we have international trade. Oh my god, Gretchen, did you know if those are consumable goods? I think that's on our test today. Oh, really? Yeah, that would probably help you. Yeah. Gretchen, why should we even go to college? Well, having a college degree makes your chances even better. The earnings and employment rates are better for those people.
Regina, can I please come over? I do not understand these graphs at all. Gretchen, I literally have no idea what I'm doing, but um, Katie gave me some of her notes today that we can look over, but I really don't know what it means. Okay, I'll be over soon. I think I have my book. I'm not sure. Hey Regina, I don't have my book. Do you have yours? Hey, um, yes, actually I just found it. Dude, I'm so scared for this test. <laughs> Me you know too. What's over? Uh, I think supply and demand. Oh my God. Here is what I have on supply. I don't have anything on demand. <laughs> we can look up in the book, but I'm not sure where to find it. Okay, so Gretchen, I really don't know much about supply because it's not really my strong suit, but all I know is that when the graph line is straight up and down like this, it's inelastic. But when it's more like this, it's elastic. Regina, I think we should also really look at taxes because I remember him talking about that. Well, according to our econ book, we found that there are apparently three types of taxes. There's proportional, which is a city income tax, progressive, which is a federal income tax, and regressive, which is a state sales tax. Who knew? Regina, can we please go outside in your backyard and tan? We need to get the most productive efficiency from the sun that we possibly can. Um, sure, whatever that means. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, where do you want to go? Right there. Oh my God, I think the sun is a consumeral good. I'm consuming all of its rays. Yeah, Gretchen. Regina, I have to go. My mom just texted me. Uh, okay, are you ready for this test tomorrow? I just remember that supply never equals demand. Okay, and also I think that a price change never moves the graph. Okay, you can go out this way. Okay. Bye. Bye.